Mr. Napsok, the match starts in one minute. Okay, okay. So, sounds good. I'll, I'll be right there. Vikings just went through a real massive update with new RPG elements and a new hero. You've got to check it out. Collider and Vikings are giving away three new iPhone Xs. All you need to do is install Vikings via the links below and upgrade your palace to level five. And we're live in five, four, three, two. Let's get ready to schmodown. Download Vikings using the links in the description below and get your initial protection shield for free and my special bonus of 200 pieces of gold. You're gonna need that for a great start. Back. Oh, hey, Emma, how's it going? Good, setting up for Hello? the match? Yeah, just getting ready. Yeah, I mean, we got the spectacular coming up. That's It's going to be crazy. Yeah. Those, those three vids are going to Totally, crush. totally crazy. Hey, speaking of maybe not so impressive, uh, I saw you had that uh, that manager's bowl <laughs> thing with, yeah. with Tom yeah. and, and Jay, and I, I guess apparently now Ricky. Yeah, and, and I completely understand if you don't want to call uh, to, to do the interviews back there. I, I, no, I, I I totally want to be involved. Oh, yeah. great, yeah, great. I do. All right, yeah, we'll 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 get you in the back. There. No, no, actually, uh, I was thinking I would like to participate in that match. Okay, but it, it's the manager bowl, so it's only for people who right. are managing. Totally understand. Actually, I have someone that I am managing. Wait, since when? Well, I'm listen. I know that you love contracts, so I just happen to have one here okay. with me. Okay, everything since organized. My competitor signed. So if you want to take a look in there, you can. All right, the scene seems legit. Yeah, everything's here. Wait, wait, that's your competitor. Mm-hmm. Okay, I mean, this, everything's signed. Uh, you're in. Four-way match, let's do it. Excellent. Pleasure doing business with you. Napsok joined by a former champ, John Roca. It hurts to hear that, but it's the truth of former champ. But thanks for having me on, Ken. I'm looking forward to this match. You know what? I know you, you, your fate uh, wasn't as uh, didn't end up where you wanted to be. Is what I'm trying to say in the Ultimate Schmodown Singles Tournament. But you're here. Uh, the tournament's behind us. We're waiting yeah. for the Schmodown Spectacular in December. We can take a breath, I think, because. Yeah. Competition's already heating up. We got we got someone returning and a newcomer here today. Yeah, uh, this is this is interesting to you, Mark B B Bernardin. Is that correct? Bernard, I, Mark Bernard. Bernard. See, I haven't seen him in six months, so yeah. I don't know how to say his name. <laughs> but apparently, just you know, call him the Magic Man. Oh, the Magic Man. That's great. He's gonna pull a rabbit out and see if he can beat the professor. But this is interesting to me because he went to Thad, our yeah. new commissioner, and I right. have my opinions about the new commissioner. But he went to our new commissioner and he asked to come back. He had made a great debut against Scarpino. Yep. He, he had a great showing in the free-for-all. I think we took him out. Our tri our, our yeah. Four, yeah, we took him out. And But now he wants back in the ring, and I'm looking forward to this. Yeah, he carries a 1-0 record into this. Like you said, it's been about six months that we've seen him. So yeah. people might forget his, 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 this is a man in and around the film uh, journalist world, yeah. writing world. He's a creative. He's a pundit. He uh, excellent work, as you said, on Fat Man on Batman with yeah. Kevin Smith. So he's, he's very well-rounded. This is You can't pigeonhole him. I'm glad he's back. Yeah. Very glad he's back, but he's going up against an unknown quantity to a lot of people yeah. in the Professor Lon Harris, who claims he is here to teach the Schmodown a lot of things. If you know anything about this man, John? No, I, I, all I know is uh, this man is intelligent. He knows a lot about movies. You don't call yourself the professor unless you do. This makes me feel about Leaping Lani Poffo. If you remember Leaping Lani yes, Poffo, yes. you know, it, it has that same kind of vibe to it. Well, so a lot I'm of a to lot it. of people have claimed to be things yes. here in the Schmodown. It all takes place out there, though. It's interesting. I, I do know a little bit about Lon, having worked with him at some other places. He's he's great coming up with the uh, fight questions. He's great analyzing films. Uh, he's a great fan of Curb Your Enthusiasm. We've had conversation, uh, conversations 
about stuff outside of the ring. I don't know what he's going to be like in here. This is going to be an unknown quantity, and he's got he's here to make a big statement. Well, you got to be smart to understand Kirby enthusiasm. So that already speaks to him really well <laughs> that he in, understands intelligent comedy, and he feels everyone in the Schmerdown is about to be taught a lesson by the professor. And I take that as an insult, but I appreciate the moxie right. on that guy. Well, that's what we have to say about these guys, but what do they have to say about each other? Let's go to the comments now. <coughs> All right. <let's coughs> the quest for glory. It has been a while. I've been off in television land making television things happen, but I've been missing the, the thrill of competition, so I'm back. I'm the professor, Lon Harris. Now, the Schmodown's smartest man. You spend enough time doing your own thing, making your own stuff, that you miss a connection with the people. You miss a connection with the, the thrill of victory, the agony of defeat. And so I reached out. I wanted to get back into it. I wanted to get my hands dirty again. I've seen this schmo down, and it seems to be so caught up in contemporary films and mindless commercial garbage. I'm here to elevate the conversation. Let's, let's bring in some, some worthwhile films to discuss, some, some avant-garde films. I've heard he's incredibly smart. I've heard he's a little bit of erudite. I've heard he comes heavy and hard with scholarly knowledge. But, you know, I'm a natural athlete. We got this. It's common for the less educated classes to believe in magic and magic men. But as a scholar and an academic, I understand that there is no magic to movie trivia. It's just dedication, knowledge, and, and raw intelligence. So I'm going to teach you something, Professor. You learned something today, buddy. Oh, yeah. I'm the Professor Lonnie Harris, now the Schmodown smartest man. I'm a film expert and a scholar, much, much more than just a fan. While you're all debating kids' cartoons and Michael Bay, I'm assessing Truffaut's influence on Bertrand Tavernier. So bring on this competition. I will take you all to class. And that, students, is a metaphor. It means I'll kick your ass. All right, you see there, Roka. Bernard is here. He's back. Yeah. He's confident. Just wants to have some fun. The fans really took to him early on. He's yeah. he's a fan favorite for sure. But then you got the professor, Lon Harris, ending with a poem, reciting a poem, something I don't think I've ever seen here in the Schmodown before. He's pretty confident about his knowledge, John. I may have to go back to school because I don't understand half of what he said in that poem. So you know, <laughs> but he, I'm hoping he can teach me. He is the professor. Absolutely. Let's look at the tail of the tape. Mark Bernardin is very well rounded. Like I said, uh, 2,000 movies, new releases, comic book movies. He is very well rounded. I keep saying that because it's true, John. That's right. It's true. The it's professor, true. Lon Harris. I mean, uh, class. Oscars, directors. Uh, some of these directors I don't think we'll have categories for yet. The names he was given off and the, even backstage, I'm like, I, I didn't know who yeah. that was. Yeah. Uh, I'd know Michael Bay. So we'll see <laughs> what Lauren Harris can bring. All right. Well, uh, I think uh, I think it's time, John. Yeah. Are you ready to get to it? I'm ready to go. Let's see what the magic man has. Let's see what the prep right. professor has. If you're ready, I'm ready. I'm ready. Let's ready. get ready to schmoda. <laughs> Three rounds to a finish. Introducing first, representing the University of Elite Film Appreciation, making his Schmodown debut, the Professor Law Harris. <laughs> Crowd, he's coming out. He's got a book. Look at that. He's studying. He's up. He's oh. Oh, oh, he's ready. Oh, okay. Yeah, the, the professor like is that. here. Yeah. Uh, you know, he's. I think he's got, he told me 14 film degrees. 14? 14 different films. I, I may, he may have been lying there. Wow. All right. That sounds like an online university. Yeah, I think, yeah, right? something there. It's just like a true professor, shirt out, doesn't uh, care what he, he's, <laughs> he's tenure. He's he looking for he tenure. Like. That's right. And his opponent, representing Fat Man on Fat Man. With a record of one win and zero defeats, here is the Magic Man, Mark Bernardin! Oh, oh yes. Look at the confidence, the strength. Tilly Look at that. In the public's love. Look at that. Oh. that yeah, he is. <laughs> I don't know what discipline of martial arts that was, but I want to be uh, taking classes in a shoe there. The 
is what Shaq, that was. Shaq Fu. Oh, no. Some Shaq Fu. Studied Poo numerous going on Asian there. cultures, and I'm not familiar with uh, them. Uh, oh, yeah. Professor is already going on there. Yeah, All is. right. All right, John, the opponents are set. Little talk in there. Yep. Professor's already teaching us some things there. Uh, before uh, they are ready, let's get them the rules for round number one. All right, gentlemen, in round one, there will be eight questions worth one point each. If you get all eight right, you get a bonus question that's worth one point each. You will not lose any points, and there's no stealing if you get anything wrong. Uh, and also, remember the JTE rule. This goes throughout the game. You can ask only up to three times for a question to be repeated for you. Options doesn't count. Questions, that's where it counts. All right, are you guys ready? Any questions? Go flight. All ready. All right, if they're ready, I'm ready. You ready? I'm absolutely ready. Let's then get it on. It's time. It's Schmodown time. Woo! Here we go. Round number one. First question coming in, gentlemen, in the category of action adventure. Who directed 2016's war film, 13 Hours? done anything for 13 hours? Yeah, but I don't like to talk about it on the air. It's probably a good idea. Yeah. It was some bad yeah. tacos. In five, four, three, two, one. All right, pens down. Mark Bernardin. Michael Bay. That's correct for a point. First point in, Lon Harris. Uh, it's a little beneath me, but it is Michael Bay. <laughs> Perfect. Oh. All right, 1-1, All right. One, one. One. we're out of the gate. All right, gentlemen, your next category is comedies. Comedies in trading places. Who plays Ophelia, the prostitute that agrees to help Winthorpe? That's with a W. Yeah, I like that name, Winthorpe. Yeah, Winthorpe's a good, good name. Good name. It's a solid name. I, I wish I, I wish I was named Win. I don't. No, I don't. Winthorpe I like that. Babsock? Yeah. <laughs> Five, <laughs> four, three, two, one. All right, pens down. Professor. Uh, it was uh, actor Tony Curtis's daughter, Ms. Jamie Lee Curtis. All right, he's All right, got right. that. No bonus points for the family lineage. Mark no. Bernard. Janet Lee's daughter. Oh, Jamie Lee Curtis. oh. Well, we've got some punches yeah. being oh. thrown here. All right, third question, it. gentlemen. In round one, in the category of dramas, in Martin Scorsese's Hugo, Hugo maintains what for his missing uncle at the railway station? Have you ever been to a railway station? Uh, no, and I've never known anyone named Hugo either. Uh, I know Hugo Weaving once. You've known him once? Well, five, four, <laughs> three, two, one. All right, pens down. Mark. I got a clock. That is correct. Ooh, nice. Professor. Of course, I also knew that it was a clock. Oh. oh. Wow. Tied up here. Oh, yes. This, this, this is a good start. Good I, like start. The, I like the confidence in both these guys. I dig it. All right, our next question is horror thriller. Yeah. Who play <laughs> Thank you. Who plays reporter John Klein in The Mothman Prophecies, or the Mothman prophecies, if you like to. I mean, that way. both works. If sure. you're dignified, Mothman. Mothman. Uh, I'm not too the dignified frontman? though. Yeah. yeah, not too dignified though. Uh, no, no, no. This I is. I've loved this perfect match so far for these guys. Yeah. This is. This is great. I've never had any moths give me prophecies. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, pens are down. The professor, Lon Harris. We all know the Mothman is rank superstition and does not hold up to scientific scrutiny, but my answer, I believe, does Richard Gere. Oh, <laughs> Bernard. Uh, I went with his secret identity, Dick Gear. Oh, uh, well, oh, we're going to take that because, that's you know. Fine. Don't, don't believe he goes by Dick. Yeah. <laughs> as far as you know, it doesn't go by Dick. <laughs> all right, fifth question in the category of comic book movies. Comic book movies. Who plays CIA operative Everett Ross in Captain America Civil War? You could probably be a good CIA agent. I Do you think you. So? Yeah, you've got, a, you've got an air about you. I, I like don't know. It. I've got respect. a big mouth. I would give away all the secrets. Uh, okay. I'm not well, really good at that you know, kind of stuff. Five, four, three, two, one. All right. We've got Mark Bernard answering first. Uh, William Hurt. That is incorrect. <gasps> incorrect. <gasps> Professor. I do like to watch movies with a little more intellectual content, but I believe it's Martin Freeman. That is oh. correct. Uh, no surprise. I get it. I think that. Bernard was thinking of Thunderbolt Ross. Yeah, yeah been, that's right. I got lost in my Rosses. I almost went Diana, but. Oh. <laughs> we would have maybe accepted that <laughs> just based on sure talent alone. All right. Sixth question coming in, John. <laughs> Fantastic. Your next question is in the category of Oscars. Name one of the two films Oliver Stone has won the Academy Award for Best Director. 
Mm. One of the two films that Oliver Stone has won the Academy Award for. for. One of the two. One of the two. I saw both of these in the theaters. That's how old I am. I don't, you know, I don't know. Yeah. Not, I, I'd say you're 10 years younger than Thank me. you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, five, four, three, two, and one. Pens are down. Lon Harris. I believe one of them was the war classic Platoon. That is correct. Mark Bernard. Same old, same old. All right. Yeah. Keeping pace there, though, Lon does have a 6-5 lead and has answered every question so far. Yeah. So seventh question in the round is in the category of fantasy sci-fi. Fantasy sci-fi. Who played the lead scientist, Dr. Nico, in the 1998 sci-fi thriller Godzilla? Yeah. There were quotation marks around thriller. Yeah. 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 Uh, that was an interesting film. I, you know... I remember the wallflowers. That's about it. Yeah. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. All right. We are looking for Mark Bernardin's answer. Uh, it's supposed to be Matthew Broderick, but that's a brother. Uh, I will. He said it. So right, you're right. gonna. I right. will accept it. Yeah, since he wasn't second. Yeah, yeah I'll accept okay. it. All right. Uh, Lon Harris. I'm very disappointed in him, but it is Matthew Brown. All right, Lon Harris, seven of seven, seven of seven. All Here right, we, we come to the final question, John. You'll All be right. asking it, but if Lon gets it, he will have a bonus question just for himself. Well, if you're going to be the professor, you must know about classics. This is the category we're doing it. What is the name of one of Atticus Finch's two children in To Kill a Mockingbird? We're uh, wow. looking for one of the names. I, only, I thought I only had one, but that's how dumb I am about this. <laughs> I don't know if I could have got this. Uh, you know, I uh, did read the book. Yeah, it was a good book. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, we are starting here with Lon Harris, the professor, for a perfect round. I believe it is Young Scout. That is oh, correct for a perfect nice. round. Mark Bernard, can you keep pace? Scout. He oh. can. Oh. He's only missed one. That's a great first round for Mark Bernard. Wow. But the professor comes in wow. and gets a bonus question. You do not have to write this down. Oh. This is just for you. You have 15 seconds to answer. Bonus question. Who played Shoeless Joe Jackson in Field of Dreams? Got 15 seconds to answer. This would uh, put him up by two points. I want to say it's John Cusack? That is incorrect. Looking for Ray Liotta. You were um, thinking of Cusack in the uh, other eight, movie, Eight, eight Men, Men Out, out yes. as he played uh, third baseman uh, what in just that happened? movie. He missed it. Did you have a father, Professor? He missed it. You must understand Field of Dreams, <laughs> for God's sake. I'm shocked at this All point. Baseball. Right. Baseball. I was still, reading. He still had a perfect first he round. Did, he he did. got to the respect, bonus respect. there. Didn't get that ninth point. Yeah. But he's up eight to seven going into round two, John, which Ooh. is, of course, as you know very well, the wheel round. Yeah. Care to explain the rules? Well, gentlemen, you're going to get a spin of the wheel here. Whatever you land on, you can choose or you can spin again. But when you spin again, you must take the category it hits on. Each one of these questions will have four questions. They're worth two points each. Now, this is the round where you can steal. Uh, you cannot, if, you, if the person is answering the two-point question, you cannot ask for the multiple choice if you're stealing. But if it goes to multiple, multiple choice, you can take the multiple choice. If you take multiple choice, you go down to one point for that answer. Absolutely. And spinner's choice and opponent's choice are on the wheel. Ooh. If you hit those, first or second spin, it doesn't matter. You have to take it. So spinner's choice, of course, John, as you know, yeah. a big advantage. But yes. you, you've overcome some of the opponent's choice stuff before. So Not to it, victory, it, but it, I've certainly it, overcome it. You can overcome it. You can yeah. overcome it. All right. Uh, you guys understand the second round? All right, Lon, you have a one-point lead, eight to seven, which means you get to choose. Do you want to spin first or let your opponent spin first instead? I think I'll go. I think I'll go. I want to get out of here before office hours. Oh. All right, give it a big spin. <laughs> All right, oh. big spin. Big, that's a I powerful like that. spin, John. You don't need a his TA first you can spin, spin like no, that. His first spin is in. Oh. He has oh. got John, John Carpenter, Carpenter movies. You can decide to keep it or spin again. I'm going to take John Carpenter. He's like the John Carpenter movies. You will have 15 seconds. Don't forget, you do have multiple choice. You have three JTE rules remaining. Your first question, your first question in John Carpenter. What is the nickname of Jack Burton's big rig in Big Trouble, Little China? The Pork Chop Express. Mm. That is correct for two points. Two points, yeah. taking a 10-7 lead. Qu question two, question two. What computer game does McCready play in The Thing? Oh. We just covered this for the simple I'm going to say Pong. That is incorrect, incorrect. Did not go to multiple choice. Mark, you could steal. Um, Zork? 
Incorrect. That's a great game, but we're looking for chess. Chess. Ah, chess. You ever chess. play? You ever play Zork? Little, little type out game. All right. No. We're we're no. all old here <laughs> in the show today. <laughs> all right. All right. Third question in the category of John Carpenter. What Hall of Fame pro wrestler plays the character Nada in They Live? It's uh, Mr. Rowdy Roddy Piper. Absolutely. Yeah. Respect to Hot Rod there. Two points. Yeah. Final question. Final question. What veteran actor portrays Father Malone in The Fog? Uh, I'll take multiple choice on this. All right. A, Harry Dean Stanton. B, Tom Atkins. C, John Hurt. D, Hal Holbrook. I believe it's uh, B, Atkins. Incorrect for a possible steal, Mark Bernardin. Uh, Hal Holbrook. That is correct oh. for a oh. point in round two. So at the end of that round, we see the professor with a 12 to 8 lead. That's four point lead. He did pretty good. Carpenter is a hard category. We yes. don't see it here much. So uh, that means Mark Bernardin is going to be playing from behind here with a wheel spin. Well, he is the magic man. Oh. Kind of spell on the wheel there. He is. Let's see. Oh. 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 Comic oh. book movies. Oh, but that is the strength of his. Are you going to stay with that or spin again? Uh, I'm going to stay with this. He All is right. going to stay with it. <laughs> Here we go. Comic movies. Uh, four questions for you. Mr. Magic Man. Uh, in Batman Begins, what was the first method the League of Shadows used to destroy Gotham? The first method. Um. Hmm. Need an answer. Okay. Destroying the war supply. Incorrect. 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 Oh. I believe it was a financial attack. The financial crisis. Take that? Economic depression uh, is we'll an answer. We're points. gonna. We'll. We'll take that. Okay. All right. A two All point right, steal. steal. Two point steal. All right. And your next question, Mark. Who played the mutant Psylocke? in X-Men Apocalypse. Ugh. Sometimes seeing well, worse movies, you know. You I know, I wish I don't up. have to remember this movie. Mm -hmm. um, Could need an answer or multiple choice in five. Multiple choice. Four. All right, your multiple choice answers are A, Sophie Turner, B, Olivia Wilde, C, Michelle Yao, or D, Olivia Munn. D, Olivia Munn. That's that correct for correct. a point. Yes. Staying close, staying close. All right, your third question in comic movies is, in Iron Man 2, what does Tony give the vendor in exchange for strawberries on his way to see Pepper? Well, this Mul is tough. This is multiple choice. All right, multiple choice. A, keys to a car. B, a roll of cash. C, his sunglasses. Or D, his watch. D. That's correct that for a point. Correct. All right, oh, keep pace. Right. He could keep pace here with this final question in this round. Your last question. What Lord of the Rings star plays Delio, a Spartan soldier and narrator of 300? David Wenham. That is correct wow. for two points. Big Fantastic. answer. Big answer. Woo. Big answer there. Keeps pace. A great round from Bernardin, but Lon Harris got a steal in that round. Gives him two key points. It means he'll have a lead going into the third round. Now, gentlemen, the third round works like this. You will have uh, the chance to give me three numbers between 1 and 20. Those numbers will correspond to a category, a two-point, a three-point, and a five-point question. Those numbers will help determine uh, what those uh, point value questions will be, all right? Uh, you will uh, not know steals, no multiple choice. You will have uh, the 20-second time limit to answer the questions. All right, are you guys ready for round three? Ron right. Harris, as you are in the lead, 14 to 12, you get to give me your numbers first. We'll do uh, three, five, and nine. Three, five, and nine. All right. Mark Bernardin? Four, 15, 20. Four, 15, and 20. So because Mark is behind, he will get to go first. John will be asking yep. you the question, uh, your two-point question to tie the game. Number four, is that correct? That is correct. That is the category of movie taglines. What 1998 film had the following tagline, on the air, Unaware. Uh, 
Uh, Five, four, three, two, one. Scanners. Oh. That's incorrect. Looking for Truman, Truman Show. Truman Looking Show. for Truman the Show. Truman. All right. Uh, so we stick with Mark Bernard, and he can okay. take a lead here, though. He has a three-point question coming now. All right, Mark, you chose the category 15. That is coming-of-age movies. Coming-of-age movies. Name the two films directed by Amy Heckerling revolving around the life of high school kids. Fast Times at Ridgemont High and Clueless. Correct. That is correct yeah. for three points. All right. He takes the lead there. 15-14. Getting it back to Lon Harris. Lon, you chose for your two-point question the number three. The number three, that is the category of comedy. Category of comedy. Two-point question is what actor took over as the new Santa Claus in the 1994 holiday comedy, The Santa Claus. Oh, uh, Tim Allen. That is correct for two points, two points. All right, oh so this goes back to Mark Bernard, and this will be a five-point question five to points. take a lead, and then it would go back to Lon Harris to see if he can come back for the victory. So five-point question. All right, Magic Man. Number 20 is the category of Brad Pitt. <laughs> For your five-point question, in what Brad Pitt movie are real-life humans referred to as noids? Oh, shit. Twelve monkeys. And your winner, the final score of 16 to 15, the professor. He did. That was, you know, I got. They were neck and neck for a yeah. while. Sometimes it just comes down to those questions there at the end, John. You know. Yep. You know this was a close match, though. Both men should hold their heads up high. Right? These were some difficult questions. Let you know this is the, the tournament. The, the 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 games. The matches are just getting harder and harder every single time. Your knowledge of movies really comes into play. And you know, it could have gone either way today, and it just it went in the favor of the professor. Could have gone either way, but yeah. the professor has made quite a debut yeah. right now. We are going to go to the great Emma Five, who's back stage with the winner and the loser of today's competition. What's up, Movie Trivia Schmodown fans? Emma Fife here with today's victor in his Schmodown debut, the Professor Lon Harris. And was there ever any doubt? Well, I mean, Mark Bernard's a pretty good competitor, sure. so... A, a knowledgeable man. A, a, a scholar, an academic? I don't know. I have not seen his uh, curriculum vitae. Okay, well, he's pretty well known in the film journalism kind of world. Sure, so. that is that is a word. I, but I, I mean, congratulations to you then on on defeating him because he was certainly a very worthy opponent today. Sure, yes, it was a it was a diverting competition. Di okay, well. Uh, you know, Lon, th there was no doubt, I think, of anybody going into this match that you had a very broad film knowledge. But again, it was your very first time ever competing in the Schmodown. So was there, were there any sort of nerves or anything on your part going into it? Uh, nerves. I mean, I'm, I'm quite used to uh, getting up in front of a large group of people using my instrument to educate, enlighten, and inform. Uh, so this was uh, another day in the life of the professor, really. I, I mean, you're not an actual professor in, in real life and you're kind of making it sound like that's what you do for a job but uh can i can i just can i just say one thing in response to that how dare you okay well i'm just stating an actual fact anyway so uh now moving forward in the competition you've clearly proven that you are uh making a very strong debut in this league who are you looking to take on next Oh, I plan to work my way through all of the winning Schmodown competitors, the entire Schmodown uh, faculty, as it were, and I believe I'm going to start by challenging Mr. Cody Hall. I don't think Cody has ever competed in the Schmodown. Uh, well, then it's about time he dipped his toe oh, into the ring. Okay, all right. Well, Cody Hall, obviously, who is the most untapped competitor that we've ever had here in the league, clearly, aside from him, from people who've already made a strong showing in the league, is there anyone that you're that you're after? I mean, there's no one who I'm intimidated by. I'm willing to take on all willing competitors, and uh, you know, hopefully, uh, you know, raise some awareness, challenge some minds, raise some awareness. Uh, you know, awareness about uh, real film. Real film. Real okay. Film. Not this. This. Listen. 
I, I understand that it's it's Transformers and your GoBots and your Pokemons, and, and that's what the Schmodown tends to be about. I, I'm trying to raise the level of discourse yeah. here just a little bit. I don't think we've ever had a question about GoBots or Pokemon in the Schmodown, but... I, I, I see your point. You're, it's what you're, the children enjoy. I, sometimes I confiscate a phone. You see an app. Sure. I, I see you. You are a man of exquisite taste. I'd like to think And so. you are trying to elevate the level of schmodown question, if, connoisseur, etc. If I can. It remains to be seen. If I can. Okay. Well, uh, I am certainly interested to stick around and see if that uh, happens for you. Lon, uh, congratulations, sir, on your win today. And we will be right back with Mark Bernardin. And we are back with Mark Bernardin, the magic man, just... So close. Didn't quite go in your favor One today. One point. One it's, measly point. It's very, very true. I think that you can leave this match today with your head held up very high. I feel a little bit like Rocky, like I made it through right, the fight. Right, I right, right. I feel like Adonis Creed. I yeah. did not make it through the fight, but I, I get I get to claim my name. I get to claim the match. Listen, and there's always an opportunity for a comeback. You know, you, you came in with your first match against Scarpino a long time ago, as you said, going into it, a little rusty. Haven't necessarily you know, been working out your movie trivia muscles so the much. The hero's journey requires a downfall before an uplift. Exactly, so exactly. I will, I will take that hit. Yeah, you came in strong. Everybody can see that you're clearly an excellent competitor. You are meant to be in this league. And, you know, I think that, if anything, this loss today just further endears you to your adoring fans and we'll have people rooting for your comeback. I got kicked in the noids by Brad Pitt. What are you going to yeah, do? What are you going to do? <laughs> now, obviously, there's a lot of different opportunities to compete here mm -hmm. in the Schmodown. Would you ever consider entering into the team league? And if you did, who do you think you would uh, be Ooh. after as a teammate? I don't know. I, I, I like the idea of teams. I'm a mm -hmm. collaborative person Absolutely. by nature. Yeah. So there's, there's a couple of people out there I got my eyes on. Like I, I like that Andreco kid. You know, we, sh we share a first name, so why well, the hell not? You could just be Team Mark. We could just be Team Mark. Mark, Mark Aurelius's. There's uh, a lot of Marks here in the showdown, actually. <laughs> uh, I like Haley Fouch. Haley Fouch oh. is a good friend. Clark Wolf also. Like, I figure, I, I think there's a way to be like the three-headed demon god of, of the showdown. Absolutely. The hell well, singles, teams, however you choose to compete, I'm sure we have not seen the last of you, Fingers Mark Bernardin. <laughs> any, uh, any last words on, on your opponent, the professor there? I feel like, you know, book knowledge goes a while, but street knowledge will always take you down. So you keep sharp, Professor. I'm coming for you. That's true. All right. Well, I, I'm uh, very sorry again for your loss today, Mark Bernardin, but uh, you know what? You're a great guy. I'm going to sure, keep... Sure, we'll see you around here again very soon. Keep my chin up. Keep hope alive. All's good. Now, back to you, Ken and Roca. All right, you see there, John, that Mark Bernardin, uh, he, he's not hanging his head down. He's hanging uh -huh. and keeping his head up, and he knows that he still has a future here. Maybe look at it, teens. Maybe he'll find a partner. He's not done. You know, six months off, yeah. you shake that rust, you're back in the competition. The professor, Lon Harris, he was pretty sure of himself, though he did pay some respects to Mark. He was pretty sure that this is just the first step to a larger lesson towards all of the Schmodown competitors. Yeah, he said it's his first course, and for everyone else to sign up because he, uh, the, you know, because the lessons are about to begin. Listen, I'm telling you, if you're going to come and make a statement in the Schmodown, you come and you win, and then you have something intelligent and fun to say, and you certainly did it. The professor has got my vote right now. Hey, you know, the new commish, the interim commish, uh, is uh, Thad Williams. He's got to be happy about this competition here, bringing some of these two guys in. So uh, that is it. Don't forget, we've got Frank Janish with all the stats and numbers right now. Don't forget to check out the Schmodown rundown to get all the stories about this match there. I'm on Inside Schmodown every week. Check that out. Share, like, enjoy this video. And the Schmodown app is out there, available for purchase. You could even take on me. You can take on John Roca. I'm up late nights playing on my phone. Can you beat me in movie trivia? Give it a go. All right, Frank, take it away. What's happening, Schmodown fans? Frank here, and today's match saw Mark Bernard return to the ring after a 10-month absence and the debut of the professor, Lon Harris. Here comes your Schmodown breakdown. And your winner! There was a lot of anticipation for the return of the Magic Man given how well he played in his debut match. And as for the professor, well he was talking a big game right off the bat and to his credit, he backed it up. So let's go ahead and get into the numbers for this match. Bernardin went 10 of 17 for an accuracy rate of 59%. That's nearly a 24% drop off from his debut. Now when we specifically look at his rounds 1 and 2 through 2 matches, he is averaging 12 points. That's third best this season. 
Looking at Lon Harris now, he went 12 of 15 for an accuracy rate of 80%. And when we look at his first round, going 8 for 8, he is the seventh player this season to do so. And he's the second player to go 8 for 8 in their debut match in the 8 question first round format. So how does the professor's debut stack up against others before him? Well, he slides right in at number 10. And despite the same score percentage as Rachel, the tiebreaker goes to her since she scored 19 points in her debut. For more stats on the Schmodown, check out SD Rundown Stats on Twitter right now. And be sure to check out the Schmodown Rundown Podcast every week on the SK Plus YouTube channel or on the Schmo's No Podcast feed on iTunes. This has been your Schmodown Breakdown. Well, well, what do we have here? Well, hello, outlaw. Don't give me that hello, outlaw crap. You've been ducking me for far too long, Riley. Oh, ducking you? Hardly, dude. I'll take you on schmo down any day of the week, any time. Any day, any time? Any day, any time, Roka, just like last time. Uh, well, why don't you put your money where your mouth is? I owe you for that one. Oh, yeah, you want a schmodown? Oh, I want a schmodown right now. Oh, you want a schmodown I, right I, now? I want a schmodown right now, Riley. Well, then draw. <laughs> oh, it's getting hot in here. And if you think these two take movie trivia seriously, you should take the fans into consideration. Y'all have been begging for your shot at the movie trivia schmodown, and now you get your opportunity. We are proud to introduce the Movie Trivia Schmodown app. Fans will be able to play all trivia modes and compete against your favorite competitors, join a league, or play a friend one-on-one. -on -one. After you accrue enough points, you can unlock the inner geekdom division and play in another format. Find some fans from all over the world, climb up the rankings, deem a champion, challenge a champion, but make sure you've earned it. We're so excited for y'all to finally get your chance to play the movie trivia Schmodown. This app is for all you movie trivia fans who have ever said, I totally knew that. How'd you miss that? It's for everybody. Make sure you guys download it right now on iTunes for a one-time fee of just $3.99. And make sure you request to join the Movie Trivia Facebook page. And then one day, maybe you can challenge the likes of Aroka, O'Reilly, maybe even your old pal, Baby Carrots. I'll be your Huckleberry. It's Schmodown time.